We recently covered settings and optimization, but of course, with many new players joining us, more questions arise, and one of the common recent ones I've been asked on my Twitch stream. How does experience in Sea of Thieves work? Please explain leveling up, and why the menu looks like it requires an extra year of college to understand. In this video, I'll explain every aspect of the menu and break it down to easily track your achievements, cosmetics, and finally, have an answer to where did this come from when finding a new item in your inventory. Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides and gameplays, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Everything covered here will be under the Pirate Log tab, which is the first page you see, and it is divided into two sections, Reputation, which tracks your progress to Pirate Legend, and the Current Season, which tracks your renowned progress. It's like a battle pass where you unlock time-limited cosmetics that won't be available when the season ends. Under Reputation is everything you need to become a Pirate Legend, but hold on, not everything there has to do with becoming a Pirate Legend. Allow me to explain. First is Tall Tales, the story mode of Sea of Thieves. It has no progress to reputation or pirate legend, however, it provides you with cosmetics and titles. All items there are unique to these adventures. This is where the lore of Sea of Thieves hides. If you want to know why this world came into existence and understand the story of everything in this world, I recommend starting from number one, the Shroud Breaker, all the way until the Heart of Fire, then moving to a pirate's life tall tales as they take place later in the story. Finally, if you want to know more about the lore and speculations of Sea of Thieves, Captain Falco's YouTube channel is the place to be, linked below. Each one of these tall tales will provide you with unique cosmetics, titles, and of course, the gold curse when completing the Shores of Gold series five times. Build Rats, another tab that doesn't have a leveling progress, is currently led by Lorena, the lady at every tavern. This works more like the guide and what to do on every update. Lorena holds the new voyages you can acquire to experience recent features at the beginning of each update. Each tab has its commendations and requirements to-do list, where you can unlock cosmetics and titles. Of course, unlike Tall Tales, the items you receive feed into the following factions that help your journey to Legend. Basically, you level up, and cosmetics unlocked can be purchased from the shops in every outpost. And now to the factions. Reaper's Bones, Cold Hoarder, Merchant Alliance, Order of Souls, Hunter's Call, and Sea Dogs. To become a Pirate Legend, you must achieve level 50 in three of these factions of your choice. At the time of this video, the first four are capped at 75, but expect more in the future. All have the same underlying structure, commendations and emissary ledger. Commendations are similar to that of build rats, as explained in my video, hardest sales to unlock. You can achieve more cosmetics and titles for each specific faction. Emissary ledger was added later to the seas and more challenging. Each of these four factions has a table in front of its representative in each outpost. You will have to perform a one-time emissary flag purchase to level up these ledgers. For example, you raise the gold hoarder emissary flag by voting on it at the table. This flag has five levels. The more gold hoarder items you accumulate, the higher the emissary level. It acts as a multiplier for your gold and value. So if you are aiming for this, it is always best to sell at level 5 emissary flag to gain the most rewards and level up on the leaderboard. The reason for that is, every 30 days, you Unique faction specific cosmetics are given if you achieve the minimum required value for each rank. The next required value is shown on the left side of the ledger ranks. In addition, once reaching level 5, you will be able to claim a hidden emissary quest from your emissary faction representative that will provide you with way more treasure than any regular quest, giving you a massive boost while selling at level 5. But keep in mind, this is a high risk and high reward path. When you sail around with a high level emissary flag, you are basically telling other ships that you have lots of treasure on board. So prepare for battle. As for the Reaper's Bones, you do not get a secret emissary quest at level 5. However, you unlock the ability to reveal all other ships on the map with an emissary flag raised. These Reapers are the ones you have to worry about the most, but keep your eye sharp at all times. And of course, if you want to be the hunter, then Reaper's Bones level 5 is what you need. As for the other two, Hunter's Call are the representatives at each sea post. They buy fish and cooked food, but keep in mind, you cannot sell half-eaten food because that's disgusting. Under their tab, it's simple. Each type of fish, what bait is required, where and when to find it. After a hard day's work, this is a significant faction to achieve while fishing and looking at the sunset for excellent relaxing gameplay, assuming you don't get attacked. Sea Dog 
This is the arena section of the game. If you want quick battles and sessions, you can head there and achieve the commendations under the tab. But don't be too optimistic about this, as I believe Sea Dog will go through a massive overhaul at some point. But if you insist, just choose the sloop route, as in galleon battles, your lobby wait time might be longer than the play session itself. Long story short, I do not recommend this for your journey to legend. Now we have more tabs. If you are a streamer on Twitch, the creator crew is unlocked by visiting the creator crew section in the link below and linking your channel because simply by doing that you will unlock creator crew sales this is not related to anything but just a bonus you can enjoy provided by rare the athena tab this is where pirate legend voyages and commendations are this tab is hidden until you sell your first Athena item. After that, you do not have to be a pirate legend to reveal it, as you can steal Athena items from legends or simply be in a crew with one. But keep in mind, to achieve what's in there, you will have to be a pirate legend. Everything under there is similar to the four tabs mentioned earlier with a similar structure. With that in mind, the reputation tab is now complete, so let's move to the seasons tab. At the time of this video, we are at season 5, but since seasons were introduced, the structure did not change. Season progress is your renown reputation, 100 levels similar to that of a normal battle pass. Everything in green is free. It's a very generous system to value your sailing time even if you do not sell items. The golden section at the bottom is what you can earn if you have a plunder pass purchased. The season pass version of Sea of Thieves. Anything you do levels up your renown, however, for a more focused version, you can follow what's in the trials section to level up faster and achieve these before a season ends. Everything in trials is precisely leveling up renown to accomplish the final rewards more quickly by following these challenges. Open any tabs under trials and choose what suits your adventure for quick renown progress. Events. This tab is a live service tab, which could change regardless of the season or game update. Special events and challenges to unlock limited rewards are usually related, but not limited to the time of the year, like the holidays or Halloween. Of course, by keeping an eye on the top right corner of the tab, you can see how long is left for the end of the season. Every three months, a new season with new content, trials, and cosmetics. Please subscribe if you found value in this video. Buzzy here, thank you for your time.